so I'm back out doing some wildlife photography. Um, I've not filmed this in a while because the last few times I've tried, it's not been too successful. Um, it's like whenever I bring this video camera out, I seem to make too much noise. I guess it's all the talking and trying to get some different shots of like me walking through the woods and whatever. But I think the plan now is I'm going to head into the woods down there and the sun is up there so I'm going to try and keep that behind me so that it lights up the deer as much as possible. It's behind a lot of clouds at the moment but it might come out later. Wishful thinking really. Um, I did come down here the other day though down to the area that I'm going to now and there was a deer that I've seen in this video before. Um, it was the one with the funny antlers but it, it seemed to have a bit of a limp this time so I managed to sneak up on it before I realised that. I got a few shots um, but then I didn't want to scare it so I snuck off the other way because I didn't want to make its injury worse just to get a photo but I'm going to shut up now and go down here. the grassland and some trees because I'm hoping that because it's not a very nice day they're going to be walking through the woods um, probably got about uh, well probably got about three hours of sunlight left and I'm probably going to spend most of it here I'm usually quite impatient and end up wandering around but I think might be better if I put all, put all my eggs in one basket and just stay here. So, uh, so I'll run through my cell quickly because I don't think I've done that before. Um, so I've got the 400 5.6 with the 70 Mark II and it's on the tripod. Then settings wise because it's on a tripod, I can drop this down quite low. I can get away with um, one over 100 most of the time. Ideally, it would be like one over 400, but it's quite dark, so that will mean the ISO will be like stupidly high. And I got it at 5.6 because that's the widest this lens goes. And then I just choose the ISO that fits, so it's 1250 at the moment. I drop that down. It's slightly overexposed now, so I can get it with 800. I'm going to keep as quiet as possible now, though. So if any deer come through, we'll catch up then.
any movement yet, really. Um, there's just been some birds, and it's raining now, so you can just hear all the raindrops like dripping through the trees, which is a bit distracting because when you're like looking for stuff, you think every noise is going to be something. Give it another hour here, and then I might just go and do a bit of a wander, see what we can find. Then I think the things that I heard when we first got here, I think they've gone. I'm not too sure if they were deer or if they were just birds again, but yeah, we'll see what happens. It's starting to get a bit too dark in the woods now, so I'm going to walk that way in the direction that my camera's been pointing and circle round and then probably go out onto that grassland because it'll be a bit brighter out there. I think um, even if anything does come through here now, it's going to be really noisy on the picture, so it's not going to be worth it. So maybe this will be more successful. Head and go to the grass. Um, don't know if we're going to see anything anyway, but it's brighter. And that makes a big difference for the pictures. Um, I've got my flash in my bag as well, just in case, but I'd rather not use that. So, yeah, probably put this camera away and we'll get out onto the grass. So I've come up to the end of this grassy section. Um, it's not looking very promising, really. I haven't seen anything since I came out here. I haven't seen anything on afternoon, actually, last two or three hours. But it's looking quite cool. You can see all the um, mist over the trees. I think it's mist. It's just like all rolling over this. And there's like little patches up here and in here. This is usually quite a good spot to come to though. I came here a couple of days ago and there was a, um, how many was there? There's two, maybe three deer in this grass section down here. Um, I'll put them picture onto the screen now. I think that's the way I might have to see these videos from now on anyway, because whenever I seem to film, I don't have much luck. So I might start doing videos every every other time I come out or every every week or so so I'll get a few pictures and then if we're in the same area I might say there was one there the other day um I don't know if that's something that people would want to see I imagine it's better if you actually see some of the deer rather than just the bits where you don't see anything where it's just waiting because they're not massively interesting like tonight, I was just looking at the the trees with all the water drops on. Um, it's not quite the same as the wildlife. I, well, I don't think so. Um, I think it's quite lame in comparison. But it's better than nothing, I guess. But I'm going to wait here. Um, hopefully see some deer. But I've got a feeling I'll just be taking in the views. Um probably got about 30 or 40 minutes left by the looks of that that cloud over there so yeah ho hope you like the video and i'll see you next time